Welcome to the Soccer Tavern, where we're discussing the history, culture, and philosophy of the beautiful game. My name is Dave, and in this video, we're talking about the Spanish men's national soccer team's history. Pull up a seat, and let's start the discussion. Spain is a country of about 46 million people located in southwestern Europe. The National Soccer Federation belongs to UEFA, which is the European Soccer Confederation within FIFA. The national team doesn't have a home stadium and plays home matches throughout the country. The Royal Spanish Football Federation, or Real Federación Española de Fútbol, abbreviated as RFEF, was created in 1909 and was admitted to FIFA by 1914. Though it was created in 1909, it took 11 years for a Spanish national team to play a match. That came in 1920 with a 1-0 loss to Denmark. One interesting point of note is that Spain is considered a founding member of FIFA, which happened in 1904. But it was Madrid Football Club that was a founding member, not an actual national organization like the other six founding nations. The Spanish national team has two nicknames. La Furia Roja means the Red Fury in Spanish and comes from the national team's kit color. The other nickname of La Selección means the selection in Spanish and literally comes from just the selection of players. The Spanish National Soccer Federation crest looks like this. The obvious pieces from this crest are the colors of red and yellow, which come from the country's national flag. The organization's name is around the outer left edge, and the crown above the letters FEF also symbolize the federation's name as the crown symbolizes Real and FEF is the rest of the federation's name. The circle shape, the checkerboard pattern, and the incorporation of white and charcoal colors could not be identified in our research. My guess is that the shape kind of looks like a soccer ball and possibly a soccer net, so that may have been what they were going for, but I have nothing to support that. If you can provide more details, we'd love to hear them. Please let us know in the comments section below the video. Including the 2018 FIFA World Cup Final, Spain will have appeared at 15 World Cup Finals tournaments. They won the 2010 World Cup, their only World Cup trophy. From a continental competition perspective, Spain has appeared at 10 European Championships. They have won the Euros on three occasions, 1964, 2008, and 2012. They are the record champion of the Euros along with Germany who has also won three championships. Spain qualified for the 2018 World Cup by winning Group G in UEFA World Cup qualifying ahead of Italy. They have been placed in Group B for the 2018 World Cup group stage. Spain have had many incredible players in the country's history, but the most recent set of players is without question the country's greatest generation. This includes Xavi Hernandez, who was a center midfielder and one of the best passers and technicians in the world during the prime of his career. It also included Iker Casillas, who was a goalkeeper and captain during Spain's remarkable trophy run from 2008 to 2012. He is the all-time cap leader for Spain. And finally, Carlos Puyol is likely the greatest defender in Spain, and his tough, no-nonsense style of play brought a much-needed edge to the Spanish team that surrounded him. Also, the great striker Raul, who played just before this most successful generation, deserves mention as one of the greatest goal scorers in La Liga and Spanish history. And finally, Alfredo Di Stefano, who was born in Argentina but became a Spanish citizen in 1956, played with Spain from 1957 to 1961. He scored 23 goals in only 31 matches for the national team and is considered one of the most talented players in soccer's history. And some players to look out for at the 2018 World Cup are David Silva, who is going to be the star player for Spain. He's an attacking midfielder for Manchester City in England. He's diminutive and really creative on the ball. And a breakout player to watch will be Isco, who is rather odd to classify as a breakout player because he's already doing big things for Real Madrid in Spain. For Madrid, he generally plays as a free-roaming attacking player, but this could be the breakout tournament where he becomes an absolute world star. Also, two players that haven't officially retired yet, but I have to mention, are Andres Iniesta and David Villa. Andres Iniesta is an amazing and supremely talented midfielder. David Villa is a great goal scorer. Both are easily top 10 and arguably top 5 greatest Spanish players ever. Iniesta will likely be at the World Cup, with David Villa unlikely to be at the tournament. 
Spain has three main international rivals, Portugal, Italy, and the Netherlands. The Portugal rivalry comes from an undercurrent of the two neighboring countries not always getting along politically. The most recent war came in the middle of the 18th century when Spain unsuccessfully invaded Portugal. The countries get along now, but these historic conflicts help the rivalry. Additionally, Portugal and Spain are in the same group for the 2018 World Cup. That should add an additional chapter to this rivalry. Spain and Italy are two of world soccer's powers, with Italy historically performing better at the World Cup, while Spain have been more successful at the European Championships. The two have met 37 times in total, with each country winning 11 times, while they've drawn 15 times. The rivalry stems from meaningful matches since the sides first met at the 1920 Olympics. The rivalry really intensified after a 1994 World Cup match where Italy advanced at the expense of Spain in controversial fashion. And finally, Spain's rivalry with the Netherlands stems from historical conflicts between these two countries. The main wars were the Eighty Years' War and the Thirty Years' War, which were both fought centuries ago. These two countries were some of the best in the world from a soccer perspective, meeting in the 2010 World Cup final won by Spain. Netherlands has gone through some struggles in the last decade or so, but this remains a rivalry. Spain's all-time record appearance holder is Iker Casillas with 167 caps. Their record goal scorer is David Villa with 59 goals. And two less interesting facts for you about the Spanish national team are that, one, they have the record for the longest unbeaten run of international matches. That was 35 straight matches without a loss between 2006 and 2009. Spain also holds the record for the longest unbeaten streak in competitive matches, which was 29 straight matches, stretching from the 2010 World Cup opening match to the 2013 Confederations Cup final. So there you have it, a bit of history on the Spanish men's national soccer team. If you have anything else to add to our discussion, please let us know in the comment section below the video. Thanks for stopping by the Soccer Tavern. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers!